My name is Tiffany Adams and I am a citizen of the Chemoivi Indian tribe of the Mojave Desert and I'm also Konkau and Nisanon from the Sierra Foothills and the Bald Rock area. Let me see, so a lot of people have asked me if I feel differently or if I feel different about myself after receiving my tattoo and I don't know that I feel different, I feel complete, I feel whole. Um, I feel like there was a part of myself that's always been missing that I didn't even know was missing. Um, you know, I have a level of confidence that I have and um, I feel empowered. I don't feel disempowered as a woman, not anymore, um, not at this age in my life. But I think since receiving my tattoo, I do feel different. I feel... I don't know, I feel like I did something or something has changed within me that was always supposed to be there. And even though like I myself didn't experience my own puberty rights, I was able to do that for my daughter. Um, and in a way, this is kind of like recognizing um, maybe the loss that I had um, as a young person not having those things. You know, my mother didn't have them. Uh, my grandmother didn't have her puberty rights. So my daughter having hers uh, was the first time we knew of in at least 100 years. And so in a way, this is kind of like reclaiming um, those practices for myself and kind of like going back and healing that little part of myself that maybe I didn't even know was a wound you know, and healing that part of myself and bringing that forward. So for the last, I'd say about five years um, in my artistic practice, I have been including elements of uh, California indigenous women's tattoos. Um, I have several friends who have their tattoos and I personally have been wanting my tattoo for o over 20 years. Um, I started painting here at IAI uh, portraitures of uh, indigenous women from California with their tattoos after having a conversation with a friend of mine who was verbally and very aggressively confronted in a restaurant uh, while she was with her ch ch children and um, her small child. Um, the person who approached her um, asked her why she would do that to her face, told her she looked like a clown, said that she should be embarrassed. Um, and for me, uh, listening to the pain in her voice as she described this interaction with this woman, I felt, um, I felt it was really important to create positive, beautiful imagery of the women who are brave enough and who carry our culture written on the skin. Um, so I created a large body of work, um, over 18 portraits of different women from around California, different scholars, activists, leaders, artists who have, some have them, some do not have their tattoos, but all of them want them. So I created this portraiture to create a living documentation of our tattoos um, without the anthropological, uh, the anthropological influence um, that we mainly see when we're researching our tattoo process. A lot of the uh, information and documentation that is out there is all in anthropological notes and the representation of California women it they're not pretty you know they're just kind of ugly anthropological sketches I don't think that it truly reflects the beauty and diversity of uh, the women of California so I recently received my tattoo um, about eight eight months ago um, over the summer um, I actually went to a tattoo collective, a Filipino tattoo collective, and had my tattoo done. I had several friends meet me there to sing songs of protection, uh, to be with me during the process, and Skyped in family members. So I, I would like to acknowledge uh, the California women who have received their tattoos prior to me receiving mine. Um, I want to acknowledge their courage and um, their leadership in showing showing us all the beauty um, in our traditions and um, the beautiful way they carry themselves through the world. Um, they're shining examples of like who we are and who we can be as indigenous women. Um, I just want to thank all of them for leading the way for us and leading the way for me. Thank you.